Hi, a bit of a different one today because it's not NAMI specific and it deals with an item that we don't even tend to build as NAMI players. As the title suggests, we're looking at redemption and our target is Kindra's ultimate, Lamb's Respite. It is a good timing to learn for support players since Kindred Dot does several things that makes the active of redemption super effective. It causes everyone to bunch up in an area that more or less matches the AoE of Redemption active. A lot of champions in the ult will be taken to low health while the undying effect is active, meaning the healing can be clutch. Redemption deals 10% max HP true damage, which lines up perfectly with the 10% minimum HP threshold that Kindred ult prevents units from falling below. Given the healing at the end of Kindred Alt is quite low, a well-timed redemption will almost kill a lot of enemies, and given this is a cheap item that can hit everything in Kindred Alt, this is huge for winning fights. There is a problem with Kindred's Alt having consistent visual clarity on their skins, and I couldn't find people I know with every Kindred skin, so I had to pull some examples of what I think the visual timing is from those three skins from spectator mode, and of course this video does not cover any future kindred skins. With that said, each of the skins do share a pretty consistent trigger you can time redemption with, and that's Lamb's voice lines when she ults. Lamb has one of three voice lines. If you play with voice lines enabled, then you can use the following timings. If she says, not here, not yet, then you want to use redemption as she says the R sound in here. If she says shine once more before the end, then use redemption as she says more. And if she says save a life's closing act, then use redemption when she says closing. As with any timing, if you want perfection then you have to adjust slightly for ping and reaction time, but generally if you're up to a half a second late then you're going to be okay. And that said, going off of voice lines isn't always practical, you might be playing in another language, or just have the audio balance turned down, so let's go through the visuals of each skin. Default is pretty simple. And there are symbols around the edge of the alt, and once these start to glow is when you want to use redemption. Shadowfire seems to be about the circle in the middle that fills up. From what I can judge, it looks to fill up over the four seconds. So when it is half filled, that is the two second mark. And therefore, we want to use redemption when the circle has filled up about a third of the way. Spirit Blossom is a visual mess with no clear indicator. The most I was able to come up with is that there are some ripples which vanish as they approach the edge of the alt. And if you use redemption just after all the ripples are gone, then the timing is pretty accurate, but I guess on top of being a very pretty skin, it's mildly pale to win. Lamb and Woof is a, another hot mess. I think this might just be one of those skins where you have to accept being half a second or so late if you're going off of visuals. Since the most that we have is that two seconds into the ult, the cat that bobs around at the edge of the ult will open its mouth. This leaves the remaining skins, these being DRX, Porcelain, and Super Galaxy. For these, I have no footage of redemption timing and had to spectate ODPs to get something. So the following is speculative and also subject to the possibility of spectator mode just straight up being buggy. DRX has the partial outline of squares, which surround the DRX logo in the center. This outline will pulse with light that goes towards the center and once they have stopped pulsing is about when you want to use redemption. If you want to play it safer though, it looks like the X logo in the center will start to glow and do an animation at about the 1.75 second mark, so you can wait for that instead. Porcelain isn't really an exact science. There are two fish, one black or one white, that rotate to meet in the middle, 
and it seems as if the clearest indicator is when the fins on the tail of the white fish reach the 3 o'clock position. And then finally there is Super Galaxy Kindred. This is one where it's kind of consistent, but unfortunately it can be pretty easily hidden in the chaos. In the centre of Kindred Alt are two squares. The outer will glow then fade, and then the inner will glow then fade. Because the fading of the inner square is a fraction of a second before the 1.5 second mark, when you factor in latency and human reaction time, then you should nail it with this timing. But wait, there's more. Since Kindred Alt is a buff for everyone inside, this means that it displays on champion status bars, so if you have a champion inside the alt selected, or you yourself are inside the kindred alt, then it is displayed as a status effect. The alt lasts for 4 seconds, we want 1.5 seconds, so we want to use redemption when the status effect duration indicator gets to the bottom right of the square. As ever, thank you for watching, and I hope this helps.